Today I'm going to walk you through some of the most recent changes as of mid-June 2025 and talk you through why those changes matter. Within custom GPTs, you can now pick your model from the full list of model options, which is super helpful when you have a specific set of instructions that requires a specific model. So let's go and take a look at that update over here. We're going to go into the GPTs here, select my GPTs. Once it loads here, we'll just open the first one and then we'll edit it. So now when you scroll down to the bottom here, you have the recommended model. Now you can choose the default here, which is no recommended model, but let's say you know that you're going to have this GPT write code for you, then you can drop through here and choose one of these 04 models. If you think it's just going to be writing uh, pros or something like that, then the 40 is probably the best way to go or the 45. So you have a bunch of different options and I think that's really slick. I'm going to leave this back on GPT 4.1 and update that. And that's a very cool update. The next big update is improved web search. 4.0 can now do a whole bunch more, like multiple web searches simultaneously. It handles longer conversational context better, and it produces smarter responses with a better understanding of your query and a more complete answer. All of that is super necessary. I'll show you a quick example over here. So in this prompt, I'm just going to compare two of my websites, lawtonlearns.com and lawtonsolutions.com. So I'm forcing it to make two different web searches simultaneously. I'm going to move the model over to 4.0 and hit run. You can see it's searching the web here and you can quickly see that it was doing the comparison between the two sites. So it was looking at both of them and then running a comparison, which is pretty slick. So it cited all the resources and created this nice table for me. Very slick. OpenAI has also added a ton more features to projects, which is very cool. You can now do voice mode, deep research, sharing chats from projects, starting a new project directly from a chat, upload files to projects on your mobile phone, or choose your model on your mobile phone. All that's really slick. Let me show a few of those to you here. So this is the daily brainstorm project file folder that I have here. And I love just in general that you can add instructions to it. But if you look here under tools, you have all of these new capabilities here. There's canvas, deep research, etc. On your mobile device, you have voice mode engage now. And just as an aside, this is a set of instructions that I'm using for my daily brainstorm. I say each morning I have a brainstorming session with you. This session will be an opportunity for me to talk through new ideas and concepts that I'm contemplating. Here's how I need you to respond. And I say a simple acknowledgement that you've received the information because typically it likes to kind of run on and reiterate what it's, what it's heard. And then the next thing is when you respond, you will provide alternative suggestions or ideas that build upon my thoughts. In other words, you'll provide unique perspective and even wild ideas that help me fully consider the concept. I just love this set of instructions because when I'm having that conversation, it gives me really great feedback instead of just kind of repeating what I've said. So take that if you'd like it. Best of luck with projects. Next thing is that O3 Pro has arrived and it's massive. I don't actually have the $200 Pro account, but I've seen some of the demonstrations on O3 Pro and it's the first model that truly provides unique insight instead of just throwing a well-known business methodology at you from a business book. It can offer compelling business strategy and perspective, but you better do a great job prompting with a ton of detail if you want to get the most out of it. With O3 Pro, when you ask complicated questions, it almost seems like you're having a dialogue with another subject matter expert or business leader working on your same team. Hit the subscribe button if you're into these kind of updates, and I'll see you next time.